How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Wednesday, August 30th, 2018. On my way to the job this morning, 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> yep, this is my morning commute, man. This is pretty nice, so. Look at all the fall colors. It's a nice view of the Continental Divide here from here. Really nice view. More fall colors. Here we go, into the sun. Oh my God, it's just spectacular. Wow. I'm so glad I turned the camera on right there. Look at that. Up there at Golden Gate Canyon State Park. It's just gorgeous up here at this time of year. So there are a lot of aspen trees here. And they're all starting to change their colors for the fall. Today, the last day of August. Yeah, I'm on my way to work this morning on a Thursday. And it's pretty fucking nice, man. It's my last tough day of the week, man. And I got tomorrow's a half day. I get off at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And then a three-day weekend coming up, man. I can sure use a three-day weekend right now, man. It's my first full week on my new job, and it's... Wow, look at that. Blind you with some sun here. A lot of times you can't see too good, but the clouds are buzzing. They're doing a good job of filtering the sun this morning. Yeah, so yeah, three-day weekend, I could use the rest, man. So... Yeah, I did a live stream last night. That was pretty fun. I couldn't I couldn't read the fucking chat though, man. So I had to work on that because I was, I was doing it on my iPad mini and you know, I didn't have the fucking, I know I did it, you know, like I said in the chat, I did, or like I said on the live stream, I did one, you know, Saturday and it worked fine. I could read the chat, but this time I could, but you know, I looked at the, I looked at the uh, video afterwards and there was, there was some chat there. I just couldn't read it. So, yeah, I, did, I, I was going to set up my computer for, to the live stream, but I didn't get around to that last night. So, I think I'm going to do that tonight. But, whoa, there's fucking washboards on this dirt road, man. You got to be really, really be careful. But, uh, yeah, tonight I'll set that up and get it. So, next live stream will be better and over the weekend. Labor Day weekend live stream. Yeah. It's fun, man. I kind of enjoy live streaming, man. I can just sit there and talk about shit. Holy shit, I'm blinded. Yeah, a lot of the sun coming up here in the eastern plains of the Rocky Mountains on into the, it's pretty bad, man. You're looking right into it on the flat earth here. Or is it round? I don't know. It's beautiful. I'm listening to a little classical music this morning because I lost my comedy channel and it's hard to tune my stereo in up here in the mountains. It's all digital tuning and it doesn't fucking pick, pick up the signal up here. So when I get down to the city, I'll have to dial in back in the comedy channel because that's all I really could listen to. It's comedy, man. I really don't like listening to music when I drive anymore. Fucking all the, all the co commercials and shit on the music stations fucking piss me off. Road work. Fucking road work. Use caution. This lady out here. She's out here every morning taking her morning walk. So give us a nice wave there. Wow, like this this section here is really nice, man. Opens up into a big man. These people they used to have horses here, but I think the people with the horses moved out. Every once in a while I see a moose over here. Recently, we've been talking on the job about how strong certain building materials are, or how weak or whatever. I'm thinking, you know, if we just had Bruce Lee on the job, he could chop right through fucking boards with his bare hands. Or he could tell us how much force it takes to chop through a nail with his bare hand. Or maybe Chuck Norris. We could have Chuck Norris on the job. 
He could he could just like rip boards in half with his bare hands because he's Chuck Norris, right? Also, I was thinking of a good way I could grow my YouTube channel. If I could just get John Elway to be the spokesman, man, I would have everybody in Colorado subscribe right up. I could just somehow convince John Elway. Man, I'd need a lot of money because that motherfucker, he get paid. Here we are coming through Cold Creek Canyon here. This is kind of a creepy little wooded area here. Like, I think this might be a, a place where witches would like to live because it doesn't get much sunlight in this area. Look at this stoplight. It's got Christmas lights on it. Stop sign, I should say. And here we are at Cold Creek Canyon. This is like the one quarter of the way to the work site. This is the second leg of the morning commute through Cold Creek Canyon. Here we go now, we're dropping out of the foothills into the great flat expanse of the great plains of the Midwestern United States. There it is, man, the great flat expanse. It's kind of interesting how the mountains here they go from this whole, from here to the western, to the west coast is all mountains and canyons and deserts. Then you come down this, right here, it just abruptly turns flat. For miles and miles and miles from here, it's just a, it's almost like an ocean of flat. It's kind of interesting, you know, the, the whole flat earth thing would be a good spot to come and investigate the flat earth because you can see a long way you can see way over the horizon from right here you got a really good view of Denver I don't know how many miles away Denver is from here but we're looking down on Denver from here you can see downtown Denver skyline like it almost looks like the Emerald City from the Wizard of Oz yeah it's kind of interesting man and then you have this flat road right here man it's just Kind of an interesting spot. But you can see that Denver sits sits in a valley. Kind of that the Platte River Valley is what that is. Right here I come up on the second leg. It was like the third leg of the, of the trip. Where I make my turn here. This is Highway 93, which is the route that goes along the foothills here. Between Golden and Boulder, Golden to the south and Boulder to the north. It's not too far between Boulder and Golden. It's only like 20 miles. This is a nice little highway, man. You can go like 55 on this. And it gets windy here though, man. It's like right along, right along the foothills. But yeah, it's interesting that Golden and Boulder aren't very far apart from each other, but man, it's like two different fucking worlds. In, you know, Boulder is like its own little world in its own, man. They call it the People's Republic of Boulder. It's like no other city in the world. <laughs> so some, some interesting people living in Boulder, man. Look at that view. Wow. Wow. The giant the windmills. Of Which is not according to your law. The wind All research facility system. right next door to Rocky Flats. Here we are dropping down into the beautiful Boulder Valley. Man, I can't. It's weird, man. There's just like a weird haze. I don't, I'm not seeing chemtrails, but there's like a dark spirit over the earth today. There's always a dark spirit over the earth now. I, I can sense it. Evil, evil being presence casting a shadow upon the face of the earth. All right, I've arrived at my burrito stop here at the El Dorado Corner Market Shell Station. With the old truck with the grizzly bear driving it. Now there's a whole family of grizzly bears here. There's another grizzly bear here. Flogging clothing. And then we got our grizzly bear over there and our buffalo so yeah this place is like a little roadside attraction and tourist trap but you know you gotta you gotta eat so 
I stop here most a lot of mornings to get myself some a burrito and some further fucking juice, man, because I need protein. All right, man, I got my supplies. Look at this bear, man. He's fucking wicked looking. I bet you they want like five thousand dollars for that bear and the buffalo and a deer. Old fancy trucks. This place is really cool, man. I like this place. Too bad it's so fucking expensive. It's the ice cream truck. <laughs> Another interesting thing we have here in Boulder coming up on the left is the Noah NIST headquarters. These are the people that fucking so-called study the climate and they fucking fudge all the numbers and lie to fucking promote climate change. Right here is where it happens. These highly educated fucking college graduated fucking know-it-all hippies well, sit in here and fucking fudge the numbers promoting climate change selling the human race down the fucking toilet right here they, they, they're right here in boulder colorado man they like they like it here in boulder colorado because it's a nice place to live everybody wants to live here in boulder colorado but there's their headquarters but uh, yeah not everybody can afford it but these these assholes can afford to live here because they got fucking all the tax money in the world to sell the human race down the fucking toilet. Right up here over to my right, CU campus here in Boulder. And the job I'm working at is not far from the CU campus. And of course we have a Starbucks here. So you can get your $8 cup of coffee there if you so desire. Here we are, Blue Ball Avenue. I mean, Blue Bell Avenue. We've arrived at the job site. And there's the place, man. You can't see it too good from the street. There's all the trees. It's a beautiful area, man, right here below the flat irons here in southwestern Boulder. All right, man. Let's do this. You motherfuckers have a good day. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.